By default, Instant OS will automatically decide the amount of screen space and the position of an app as soon as you open it. It'll do so based on a strict set of rules called a layout. There are multiple layouts to choose from and they'll arrange di windows in different yeah, layouts based on which one is activated. You can see this little indicator here that shows the currently active layout. The default one is the tiling layout. If you open up an application, it'll take full screen. If you open up other applications, they'll share the other half of the screen. So this one is the newest application and the other ones are stacked here. This area is called the master area and the other area is called the stack or slave area. To move an app into the master area, you can press super shift enter. To resize the master area, you can press super H or super L. You can also put multiple apps into the master area by pressing super I to increase the amount of apps in the master area or pressing super D to decrease it. You can also move an app around in the stack by pressing down super control and then using the J and K keys to move it up and down. Most layouts have a slave in a master area, but not all of them. You can switch to another layout by pressing down super control and then using the comma and dot keys to toggle through all available layouts. You can do the same thing by left and right clicking on this little indicator here. You can reset to the default tiling layout by pressing the middle mouse button. Some layouts have their own hotkeys. The grid layout that'll place each app on an equal space has super C, the monocle layout that'll la overlay all the apps in a full screen layout, super M, and the default tiling layout, super T. So if I switch into this column layout, I can still switch apps to the master and slave, just like in the tiling layout. I can resize it. I can open up new ones and they'll appear in the master. I can move them around. But I cannot increase or decrease the amount of apps in the master. It depends on the layout. You can also freely move around apps independently from the layout. It's called floating mode and there'll be a video in the description on how to do that.